Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of the Natsu no Taizai, Kamigami no Genkirin, which is at episode 20, or you could call it the 7 Deadly Sins, Wrath of the Gods on episode 20. We only got a couple more episodes left, but you know what? I don't expect this to end well, and I expect it to go very bad in a horrible way. <laughs> which, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So if anything else, let's just get this recap started, okay? Okay. We have to it that Gother is getting his body all fixed up by Merlin and Gother asks Merlin for a favor which Merlin decides to like um, do but at the same time question if this involves about what happened 3,000 years ago, you know? And we go to a scene with Eskino and Hawk talking about of the upcoming battle or what's to come and later on they get interrupted by Ludashell who re recognizes that power. And later on Ludashell attacks Eskino and they end up having a little like um, standoff, you know? Ludashell explains that the power that Escanor has is actually called the sun, which apparently is the magic sunshine that Escanor is carrying. Throughout this time, Ludashell says that that magic power, that power actually belonged to my younger brother Mal. Until then, it was gone after he was killed. But until now, since I found it, if you don't want to be killed or destroyed, I suggest you hand over that power. And we see too that Eskinor refuses and says, I'm the strongest one here and even what you say is true, your grace, or whatever it is, actually chose me. So you best to understand that, you know? And we they end up having to end the feud and decides to trust one another in a certain way, but it doesn't look like that trust is going to last that long anyway. Then we go to a scene with Arthur trying to enter the castle of Camelot, you know? But apparently because like someone of like Peronia was actually messing with him, he's unable to get close to the castle. We get we get to see a scene with Zeldris and Meliodas talking about how Zeldris was fooled and and unable to get the commandment from Merlin whatsoever. Not to mention, um, we go to a scene with like um, Esther Rosa having to grab the commandment from Galen. Like he just kills him and then he grabs the commandment and then he goes off. You know. Then the other scenes show up um, with Arthur having to get close to the castle because Cat somehow ate Peronia in a certain way, you know? And we see to it that um, Arthur later on gets, gets interrupted by Zeldris and like um, Cusack, which apparently blocked, him, blocked the way. But Cat will later on use a distraction for Arthur to grab the sword. And we see to it that Meliodas tells Arthur, hey, you're, not, you're no longer around here, so get the heck out, you know? Arthur, remembering his time with Meliodas, gets so upset to see Meliodas turn out to be a monster and decides to grab the sword and therefore says he won't forgive him. Then we go to a scene with, with the Seven Deadly Sins with Merlin and they ask, why is Arthur so important to you, you know? Merlin therefore explains that Arthur is actually the child of light or child of hope that will lead Britannia one day. And we see a scene with like, um, let's see here. Art, we, we see a scene with like um, Arthur having to clash against like um, Cusack, Chandler, and Meliodas and Zeldris. With the sword that he has in his hand, he will actually stand some ground against them. He even manages to cut Cusack and Chandler, you know? As with Zeldris and Meliodas, you know, they were actually having a hard time trying to lay a hit on him because the skill that Mel Arthur was actually displaying was some kind of technique that allows to counter counterattack any tech able to counter and counterattack any attack coming his way coming his way you know and we see too that Arthur will later on use death pecker and pushes Zeldris off you know we see to it that Arthur explains that he was not supposed to use this sword unless he's in great danger because it's very powerful and we see to it that um Merlin explains how the sacred sword Excalibur was actually like um sent to the chosen ones by a lady of the lake and later on ends up being in the hands of Arthur. However, before it came into the hands of Arthur, there were other heroes and people who used that sword as well. But before they died, they end up cleansing that board that sword with their blood and soul and their techniques and everything all together will later on be imbued in the sword so the other people who were chosen by it will, will be able to use it, you know? And later on we see to it that eventually Arthur will later on look like he actually did some damage to Zeldris and Meliodas and Merlin explains that Arthur is the chosen one for uh, for Excalibur and to be the one to lead Britannia, you know? And the episode ends off there. 
Next episode preview is called the beginning of the whole new Holy War, but let's be honest, it's not going to go well. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it, people. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alfazetto. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!